Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's SQL payroll system tutorial, I'll talk about open pending payroll. I will use overtime as an example to explain these features. Let's go to SQL payroll. Before we do the processing, of course, we need to do maintenance for OT. So all maintenance is under payroll maintenance. So over here, you can do allowance and maintenance, deduction, OT, and things like that. So let's go to maintain overtime. Over here, there is a prefix overtime table for you. But many people may face difficulties is understand what is DR05, what is DR10. No worries, what you can do is actually go in and change the code according to what you understand. Example over here. So public holiday is calculated by daily basis is three per, okay? And it will need to contribute to all these things. So what I did is I actually changed the code to public holiday multiply three so i can understand easily by looking at the code itself so for certain company maybe the company policy for ot do not uh, contribute to soxor which is not correct but they insist to do then what to do just edit and untake the contributions but do not do this okay so same go to um working days normally is 1.5 per hour so you just put normal days OT 1.5. It's easier for you to understand, right? So close it. Then go to payroll, open pending payroll. Now, in open pending payroll, it's actually anything that is not your basic pay. Example, OT, example, um, allowance, example, bonus, CP38, and so on. That's not your basic pay. And you need to calculate it. Then you go to open pending. Example, now I want to put in the overtime according to a list I get from my colleague. So I just go to the add button, then select the employee, then select the code. So that's why you see when I look at the code now, it's easier for me to understand. So let's say it's normal OT and the rate is 1.5. Then let's say it's I work OT for four hours and you just put work unit as four, okay? And there's one very unique uh, features over here, okay? I would like to explain this over here. Let's say there is another employee, Ali, he also work OT. But for your company, maybe for his company, it not only calculate OT per hour, but it goes to minutes. So what you need to do is all SQL users should know that when you see columns like this, you can right click any column title, go to field chooser and pull out any field that are available. What I want to pull out is called work unit as time. Just drag, drop. Okay. Another way is column title. Most left, there's a multiple line button. Also can do this. Just stick, then it will come up. Okay. So, Ali work OT for this month is 1 hour 20 minutes. So what I do is, I click on here, then I put 20. So you can see that 1 hour 20 minutes. So the system will calculate as the work unit automatically. So after you key in all your uh, OT information over here, save it, and you go to new payroll and process payroll for the month just process and when you go to individual then you can see the ot is calculated over here so again open pending is for any additional payroll information that you need to calculate in your payroll that is not the basic pay then you use open pending so that's all for today. If you are interested in SQL payroll accounting software or sign maintenance with me, feel free to contact me directly. Once again, thank you for watching. I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.